Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of In The Box Seats. Uh, big show coming up, Ella. We're joined show. by dual code legend, Matt Rogers. Thanks for coming along. Well, I'm a bit nervous, in the box. Am I, am I in the box seat <laughs> You are here? in the box seat here, here today. Okay, you are. Right. We're, we're going to put you under the, the spotlight today. Oh, <laughs> we thought you would put you in the favourite position of yours on the wing. Yeah, nice. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> Don't do it much work. Score lots of tries, get to, <laughs> lots of glory and get paid well. It's not a bad spot. <laughs> I, guess, I guess since you've retired, wingers are getting even more now because that uh, corner post mm. is now, Yeah, you can just use that. They Well, we tried to do it. No, they wouldn't let us because you touch a corner post, you're yeah. out. But um, <laughs> No, nah, look, I think back in my day, um, you know, the likes of your Wendell Sailors and your Lottie Takiris and, you know, these bigger wingers, that's when it really started that they could be used as an extra forward. I hated the thought of yep. being used as an extra forward. Yep. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't wasn't my go. The old winger in was not something that I enjoyed. But, um, yeah, look, the game's changed a lot now and wingers far out, they do some work. We'll touch upon your career shortly, but you're part of the Forex All-Stars coming up here. It's actually at the our Gold first Coast. star being announced right yeah. here, exclusive. Yeah. Matt Rogers will be Breaking here. News. Breaking news. You must be scraping the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> first the star. Forex All-Stars <laughs> race day, that is next weekend. Uh, yeah, look, I'm excited. I came last year. Um, we I had my staff Christmas party here for our business and... Um, we had a fantastic time. I think Buff Lehman was up there yeah. uh, telling cricketing stories that were hilarious. Uh, JT was here. Casey Stoner was here. It was just a fantastic afternoon. So, yeah, had an absolute ball. So um, I'm actually on the panel you and are. chatting, but I'm, I'm coming back with my staff again to, to have our Christmas party again. So they have to listen to their boss talk. <laughs> <laughs> they probably hear enough of. So at least they were well behaved last yeah, year that you yeah. could bring them back again yeah, this year. absolutely. We backed a few winners too, oh, which, was, which, yeah. which was um, made it all, all the more better. Um, so that's coming up, Forex All-Stars. It is, it is. Uh, looking towards this weekend, it's the Gold Coast Titans race day. So obviously let's get into your career and, and what mm. you've done and, and who you are. Yeah, well, I, I, you know, I, I, I felt blessed, you know, to be honest. My career, um, I had three distinct parts to it and I felt like I had three careers in one um, you know started at the Sharks my dad's club where you know I grew up sort of supporting the Sharks and going down to Endeavour Field it was called back in the day and kicking the footy around on the field and just dreaming of you know one day getting that opportunity and I got it which was amazing so I spent eight years there and I'd sort of there's a lot of personal stuff going on behind the scenes you know my mum had passed away and my, my dad um, was my boss, and I just I just wasn't feeling um, good being at the Sharks, and had an opportunity to to jump over to rugby. I played rugby through, all throughout my high school uh, life, and um, all my mates that I'd played, you know, a lot of my mates that I'd played for Australian schoolboys with, like you know the Tom Bowmans and the Joe Roth and Elton Flatley and all these guys, you know, they were doing so well, and I, I just wanted to ha have an opportunity. I had an opportunity to go back and play, so went over there for five years and had an absolute ball travelling the world, and and then. I will say this, for 13 years, the 13 years that I lived in Sydney, I was, I was looking for a way to get back to the Gold Coast. Yeah. Like, I grew up up here, you know, I came here when I was nine, and I just loved it. My mum's a born and bred Gold Coast girl, one of 13 kids, so I've got oh, about, wow. <laughs> if you want to count second and third cousins, I've got about 4,000 of them around the Gold Coast. So um, the opportunity came up, um, you know, to, to come back and be a, a, a part of the inaugural Titans side, and yeah, just... Spent four years playing for the Titans and culminated in a, in a prelim final in 2010. Um, then I retired and the wheels fell off. <laughs> Would you ever coach? No. <laughs> no chance. We're not getting an exclusive here, not, unfortunately. Not, not, not at all remotely interested in it. I, yep. I, I love working with individuals and, you know, helping guide and, and but, but the, the coaching stuff, it's just a, oh, it's a tough world. It's a, it's a tough gig. You still follow both codes closely, or did you? Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't for a couple of years when I retired. I didn't watch any sport for yeah. a couple of years. Just sort of travelled and enjoyed time with the family. Yep. And um, since, um, you know, after that, I, I sort of re-engaged and um, do some work now with Stan on rugby and, and work in SEN on, on radio for um, so very rugby league centric show. So yeah, I'm across everything pretty yep. much. And yeah. and now, as Ella said, you've turned your attention to. Only racehorses. <laughs> yeah, we got shares in a few. Um, yeah, my, my syndicate's our syndicate's name is Cross Code Syndicate, and it's not because I cross code. <laughs> yeah, yep. it's it's because the the other guys in it are all AFL, ah. very yeah. AFL heavy, and yep. So we, we've got this Cross Code Syndicate. You're the token rugby yeah, player. Yeah, we, we've got a few. <laughs> we've got a few horses 
and, I, and I've got another horse, share in a horse with a, with a few other mates that um, I'm probably most excited about. So don't tell the crosscode guys, yep. all right? <laughs> <laughs> our little secret. Our <laughs> it must go all right because you're very coy about its name or it's been named and you don't want to tell oh, us. Or... I, I just, yeah, I, you know, it's, it's like when you when you you your third leg of the multi and yep. you, everyone's like, what, what are you about? I don't want to say. Yeah. Don't I, say I, don't, I don't want to jinx, jinx it. it. Okay. You know, so I don't want to jinx it's a Bilardo colt, yep. and it's it's been it, it had its jump out the other day, and it just it looked fantastic. Its brothers won a couple of Group Ones. I just think this could be the one. So when you Come when on. we see you in the mountain yard jumping and <laughs> screaming, we know oh that was the one he didn't tell us about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, well, I, I, we we have had a few winners. I I I, I had a, a shares in a horse that won here. In fact, oh, yep. wow. first start. Um, and it was a very green horse, and it just wasn't trialling, trialled very poorly. Yeah. And then on the week of its first race, it just seemed to work it out. Yeah. You know, it, just, it had this gangly running style, and it just sort of got into stride. And I was having a chat to the trainer before, and I said, what do you reckon? He goes, mate, if it can find its stride that it did on Thursday, I really think it can win. Yep. And I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> this thing isn't winning anything. I've seen it trial. <laughs> sure enough, it found its stride, and it won by about four lengths. Oh, yep. and, wow. Um, it was 30 to 1. Oh, wow. That, that, I wish you would have known about that's that That's what one. dreams are made of, I tell you. We enjoyed uh, that evening. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, you said that your, your lovely wife was there, so you couldn't hide <laughs> all the winnings. You had to had to dish a, dish a uh, bit out. <laughs> I'll tell you the best story about, about that, <laughs> yeah. right? Well, well, not about that particular story, but my wife... But when we've we're, got no filter, so don't well, go. Well, 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 in, 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 I think it might have been World Cup year or, or 2004, maybe. We were training at uh, at Coffs Harbour, and it was before. Oh yeah, it was World Cup year, I think, at the Home World Cup. And Morgan Turanui, yeah. one of my teammates, he got the first four in the Melbourne Cup and the trifecta. Won oh. about, about 120 grand. Oh, wow! So we're all like going bananas. Yeah. Training was a yeah. write-off. Yeah. <laughs> you, like, you, you can't. No. So, so we all end up going back to the, our hotel where we're all staying, and our families are all there, and, yeah. and we all go and tell our wives, oh, yeah. well, it's just 120 grand. Yeah. So we come back to training, yeah. and have a great time at training, you know, session, go back. So all the wives, while we're at training the second time, have all got together, and all the wives have told, you know, speaking to Morgan's wife, going, oh, man, how good, Morgan, 120 grand. Well, Morgan came back the next day filthy. He's like, he I undone. cannot believe you blokes told her. I told her I only won 10 grand. Oh, no. Oh, oh mate, well, we still talk about that win. It's uh, one of the, one That's of the classic amazing. moments. Oh, you're yeah. giving him up. Yeah, you're giving him up. He goes, mate, it's 10%. Yeah, it's 10%. It's always 10%. Always 10%. Oh. Uh, and and um, your health at the moment, you, you, yeah. you've, you've sort of had on the some other challenges. Side. Yeah, yeah, had some challenges um, with an autoimmune condition, but... Um, we finally got to the bottom of it. I, I was in a pretty bit of a bad way there for a while. I, I yeah, I, I got to say, I thought the writing was on the wall at one point. Um, thought I had some sort of blood cancer or something, but it oh. worked out. It turned out to be an autoimmune condition that was treatable. So just on a med medication routine now yep. that um, keeps me sort of pretty level, and uh, I'm just got to. Well, I've got to look after myself, not drink so much. I'm yep. still trying to work on the not drink so much and yep. not enjoy myself so much. But um, look, no, nah, I'm, I'm fine. Um, yeah, I've got a um, lovely, supportive uh, network of friends and, and my wife, obviously, that, that helped me through it all. And um, yeah, We're been, big supporters of men's mental health and health in general here. Mm, we yeah. do a race day each year for it. Our chairman's a big, big advocate for it. So we're, yeah, we're yeah. always looking to, you know, make sure that it's it's on the top of our minds and yeah, we're yeah, always supporting it as much as we can. It is important. I mean, the mental health side of things, it, it, well, it's just a tough place. You know, yeah. it's hard. Yeah. And, you know, to think that everyone's just going to flow through and, and enjoy it and they're not going to have any issues and you're kidding yourself. So, it, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty big on that stuff, obviously, lost my father to, to mental health and, um, and my brother and I are just starting a little um, show actually where we're going to go around and sort of talk about it and, and talk through how we got through things yep. and, and where we are now. So hopefully can um, tick a few boxes in, re in relation to sort of getting people to think about the right things, not just sort of live in that sort of dull, that, that moment, because it's, it's so easy to do when you're struggling just to sort of keep yourself there. Um, Absolutely. Just got to keep moving. Yeah. Absolutely. Even with your illness of late, uh, just reading some stories about it, you were sort of a bit not forthcoming going to the doctor, you, would, oh, you know, until the time comes. Oh, yeah. My, 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 I, I got out of bed one day and I couldn't tie my shoelace up. I couldn't put my pants on. And my wife sort of just got really irate with me. And she goes, this, you know, I remember I was hugging my daughter the day before and I was sort of like in a bit teary. And she looked at me and she's like, what's up, Dad? And Because I didn't want to let her know that yep. I, how I was feeling. Yep. Because 
I didn't want her to be upset. And it was sort of that next day. And, yeah, I, I just, being a bloke, just thinking, oh, I'll be right. You know, I'll be right. It'll get better. You wake know? up better and, 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 and it was a real wake-up call because yeah. I went to the doctor and, like, a day later, I was completely, like, fixed yeah. in a way. Like, yep. not fixed, but, yep. yeah. but I was feeling normal again. Yep. Yep. I thought, why didn't I do this three months ago instead of living with this pain? You know, so, yeah, take... Advice from yeah. my wife. Go to the doctor when you're sore. Yeah. <laughs> Don't wait. Yeah, yeah. Ella, some news about Forex All-Stars Day plus the Tab Wave Yes, promotion. absolutely. We're so looking forward to the All-Stars Race Day. There are limited tickets available and it um, is one not to miss. Mm. As um, Matt has said, it is a great day. You have to get along. So 195 per person. Um, check the link above. Get your tickets now. There'll be a range of guests we're super excited to announce in the coming days, so stay tuned for that. And then also a massive tab wave day coming up um, as we look towards the rest of the summer carnival. So tickets will all be on the website. Um, get in before it's too late. Checking <laughs> some racing news. We conducted some jump outs this morning on the course proper. was all given a, a big thumbs up by the senior riders. Uh, so we'll have some barrier trolls on Monday. Uh, roughly looking at uh, five barrier trials, so it'll be split between the poly and the turf. And it was announced today that December 9 will be the return to turf, so looking forward to that. Very excited. Seven race card, a uh, field limits of uh, 12. It'll be good to to get uh, behind the binoculars on the turf. and um, You might so, be a bit rusty, but yeah. I hear you're calling at Canterbury on well, Friday. Well, no, no rest for the wicked, there yeah. There you go. Here, you get some practice in yeah, before we get so back to the grass. December 9, it's all announced, and that will leave us a, a good leading period to the wave. And then, of course, the big 11 race card, Magic Millions Day, you'll have to fire that day on the punt. It's oh, going to be a long day. I think no. the first is about 9 o'clock and the last to be. <laughs> How good is that? Yeah. yeah. I just Like on, on Melbourne Cup Day the other day, I was heading down to – meet a heap of mates at the pub and the first race was at 9.45. Yeah. I'm like, this yeah. is so good. Yeah. It can be so good or yeah. so bad. So bad, yeah. yeah. You know? if you, by yeah. the end of the day, if you've had a yeah. few losers, you're yeah. like, oh, yeah. why did I have to start so early? Yeah. Back in the day, the 9.45 was the cup day hurdle. Oh. I reckon they should bring that back. I think so. Yeah. I think Instead so. Instead of that long 2,800 metre race, that stay is flat. We do, enough. we do enough on that day. Um, <laughs> Gary Dowdy with a winner in Brisbane on Sunday. Ralphie scored it. Uh, big odds and of course there's a big strong Gold Coast uh, representation going to the sunny coast on Saturday for their big tab Malula Bar Cup good horse Deepaw mm -hmm. he resumes in the Swiss Ace on Saturday so looking forward to seeing him back um, obviously we're filming the show earlier this week so no pressure for a tip this week we don't have to get one from you so you've got a 100% strike rate oh, mate. <laughs> great, great I, way to leave it I think I'm leading my punters club too that, that's the cross coast Sydney. I think I'm yeah. leading in that group and I won it a couple of years ago so I'm Continue I haven't been to... too bad the last couple of years, yeah. but, um, yeah, we've got some absolute bludges of punters. <laughs> <in that. laughs> Thanks for coming along, Matt, um, and we can't wait to see you here in a couple of weeks' time for Forex All-Stars. Come on, I can't wait. Bring it on. Looking forward to it. Another episode of In the Box Seat will be on again uh, next week, and uh, once again, thanks to Matt Rogers for his time this afternoon.